Hi, Singles Collective, and welcome back, Taurus. Today, I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what blessings are coming in your direction in matters of the heart and in your love life in the month of October. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Tarot, and I am a second-degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers, and visitors alike for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right, Taurus. So again, single Taurus, I'm going to take a look here at uh, what blessings are coming in your direction here in this month of October and what mindset you need to have in order to maximize your blessings. Let's start with the blessings that are coming towards you. And we have Medicine Woman. You are a channel for divine healing power. So month of October, energy of healing, healing your heart, healing past old wounds, you know, separation, breakup, divorce, any residual energies that you may have lingering, okay, or may be unconsciously carrying. All right. So some of these things we feel, you know, like we're totally okay. I'm past that situation. I'm past that hump, but there could be some residual energies, uh, having to do with some type of clearing of energy. Now, another thing that I want to mention to you, Taurus, is that, you know, even though you may feel you have gotten over, uh, a big chunk of pain or, trauma or situation that you may have experienced here in your love life. Um, thinking about it brings it back to this timeline and this space. Okay. So even though you may feel like you're okay and you've moved on with your life and you feel a okay, if there are moments you go back to think about that specific person situation or circumstance, you're going back to a place where you are now re, or I should say not re, but I was going to say restarting, but kind of like giving energy to a low vibrational time frame in your life. Okay. So in order for you to move on, and go in a different direction in regards to matters of the heart and your love life, there's a need to leave that, as they say, leave well enough alone and start focusing on the healing or continuing to wrap up the healing, okay? And keep moving forward, all right? And that's what I'm getting here for you. Medicine Woman is about this person who is really kind of in a way, um, just putting their hands up in the air. There's a surrender. It's like, you know what? I've done my part. I've done my healing. I continue to do my healing. I'm clearing this energy and I'm surrendering to the process completely. Surrendering to the comp uh, the, the uh, process here of completely surrendering. Whoa, Taurus, did you just see that? And guess what you guys have? The star card. Healing again. Okay, not a coincidence. You know, guys, I don't believe in coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. But there's a sense here of this blessing coming for you in the month of October, Taurus. Hope, inspiration, okay? Clearing, clearing? I was going to say cleaning because I'm looking here at the water, but clearing of energy and healing. So there's this healing process that's happening for you as a, a blessing here in matters of the heart, okay? In the month of October. Beautiful energy. I'm also feeling here that a lot of you, um, or a great number of you are in a way past the healing is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing past healing. Um, so it could be, of course, understood in two ways. Past here, you know, the past healing, the past, or some of you are past this stage of the healing process, and you're now in this energy of manifesting. 
of really making those wishes, desires, and dreams come true. You're manifesting opportunities to, again, expand your love life, all right? Um, because you're ready. You're ready to meet someone, um, your significant other. You're, re you're ready to uh, move forward in your love life. So I'm getting this like really strong energy of renewal, like soul renewal, emotional renewal, mindset renewal. And some of you, um, I'm feeling here, um, and this is very specific, so I'm going to say it right now. Um, I just saw clairvoyantly here a full moon, even though there is this does not have a full moon, but clairvoyantly I'm picking up a full moon and I'm, I'm getting here for you, Taurus. Um, I believe we already passed. No, we haven't passed the, the full moon yet. I, I don't think. Okay. Um, no, we did. We just passed the full moon. So the next full moon, I need you here to continue to manifest as you've been doing, but do so under full moons, okay? Because full moon is when there is a highest energy of um, intuitive energy, um, the clairs expand, uh, full moon is really a, a good time for you to continue to manifest what you've been trying to uh, make a reality or move past these challenges. I'm hearing here move you to use the moon as a source of energy to amplify your own energy of manifestation. Okay, so that's what I'm getting here. And that could be here a blessing for you in matters of the heart. Okay. All right. We have here spark. Of course, there's going to be this magnetic attraction here that may cross your path here in the month of October, or if it's not in the month of October, it's like fast approaching. Okay. Cause I'm getting, I'm getting something about full moon and it's like, I'm like, we just passed the full moon, but for some of you, it's like, this is coming in your direction. For some of you, you may meet this person now in this month of October um, and things may spark now and it's kind of like continuation as the months go by, okay, or as we, we, we transcend time. All right. So that's what I'm picking up. So for some of you, there may be someone here that you are going to bump into meet, um, that there is going to be this intuitive heart to heart, mutual attraction. There is going to be for some of you, the sense of remembrance with this person. Um, even though they may be brand new in your life. Okay. But there is this sense of passion, increased passion, increase, um, magnetic attraction towards someone and someone towards you. So it could go vice versa or it could go mutually. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and I'm, I'm getting here that this is all because there's a sense of surrendering to the divine. Okay. So it's like, yes, I'm healing. I've healed or I'm continuing to heal. And now I'm ready to open my energy and open up my energetic field for this new love, this new chemistry, this attraction to enter my space now. Okay. And that for you, Taurus, is one of the blessings here that are coming in your direction here in the month of October. Now we're going to clarify all these three cards for medicine woman. We have earth, utilize, utilize logic, reason, and common sense. So earth energy has a lot to do about grounding. This is telling me here that one of the things here, Taurus, is that yes, you're grounded. Okay. There's a sense of grounding. There's a sense of maybe for some of you, this yang energy of uh, creation, creation and stability. That's great. But there is going to be a, an extra blessing for you to connect with the divine or connect with your guides or connect to the ethereal. Okay. So you're going to need to make sure that this grounding continues and that's going to be an extra uh, blessing for you here. And also to open yourselves up to the surrendering to the divine. Okay. So it's kind of like, I'm being pulled in two directions. Like I feel tingling on my feet and I feel tingling on my crown chakra. So it's like I'm being pulled in two ends, right? I need to be grounded in order to uh, continue to manifest what it is that I'm desiring, hoping, wishing, wanting, and visualizing, okay? So some of you may be using the law of attraction 
or maybe a very uh, deeply connected to wanting to explore vision boards and things of that nature in order to make uh, these blessings even uh, kind of in a way magnify or come quicker in your direction. So you have here the earth energy, your own energy. Wow, guess what? Remember that I just said that I was feeling my feet tingling and my crown chakra tingling? My feet, earth, grounding. My head, air, crown chakra. This is exactly what I just said that's coming in for you as a blessing. And last but not least, you have the secrets are safe. I'll talk about this in a minute. But that's why I kept feeling this energy kind of pulling me in two directions. Guess what? The grounding, okay, and opening yourself to the divine blessing that's coming in your direction. What was I talking about before with this? Desiring, wishing, hoping, healing as well. This all has to do with connecting with the divine, connecting with the ethereal. And that has a lot to do with the air energy, your mind, okay? Um, this union, and look at this. It says, seek a union of mind and spirit. I mean, confirmation all the way here for you. All right, Taurus? So keep that in mind. That's coming in as a blessing for you. Anything that you want to manifest here in regards to love. And, and I'll say to you from a personal um, story. I'm not going to get into the whole story, but I'll tell you this. Um, I manifested my twin flame. Okay. And if anybody would have told me that I was a, going to be able to do that, I was, I would have told them they're crazy. That's, that's impossible to do and that, you know, that was my rationale many years ago. Of course, through time and experience, I have learned, yes, you can manifest things into your reality. Okay. So believing that you can has a lot to do with it also coming in your direction as well. Okay, Taurus. So, um, and I am now engaged to my soulmate. So that is completely possible. Um, and it's funny because Taurus, guess what? This is going to be a little longer for you, <laughs> a special treat for you. I actually wrote a manifestation letter to myself two years before, or actually a year before I met my fiance, my now fiance. And I did that on a full moon and I wrote a letter. I wrote it as if it had happened already. Um, and I kid you not, the following year, 2021, I met my, my twin flame, my soulmate. Okay. And so that just goes to show you here. Um, and maybe that's the reason why my guides were telling me here, were pointing here of that full moon, like to share that personal, uh, journey that I went through, uh, to find my soulmate and to find, um, you know, my, 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 my significant other. Okay. My fiance now, but yeah. So Taurus, let's keep going here. You have spark. So what blessings are coming in your direction? Being connected or feeling the sense of magnetism, passion, or uh, inner connection with someone. A like-minded person is what I'm feeling here because the two heads here are together. For others of you, there is just going to be the sense of being really attracted to someone, someone being really attracted to you. And guess what, Taurus? It's going to be mutual, okay? So it's not. it doesn't feel here as if it's one-sided. I feel it's like you know, both people are going to be on the same page in matters of that. Now, it says here, your secrets are safe. So there is a sense of the blessing coming in your direction here for the month of October is feeling that this connection that may be potentially coming uh, into your, um, into your space, that you are free to love, that there's the safety Okay, there's this feeling of being safe to love again or being safe to open up to someone again or feeling the sense of, you know what, I can now like let down my guard or bring down my guard or uh, kind of change this jaded personality or energy that I had around me, right? Or change this way that I was seeing things in matters of the, of, of the heart or matters of love. For others of you here, I feel, this is the second message that, that I'm getting here, that this doesn't necessarily have to do with someone else, that this is necessarily you 
your mind, meaning this is both you, your mind, okay, like the head chakra, crown chakra, root chakra, together, working as one, okay? And that's what I'm feeling here. This earth and air energy, this, which are these two cards. And as this card says here, this, this, you know, the union of the mind and of the spirit. So there is that internal unification that's happening here for you as a blessing that is going to open doors for matters of the heart. For some of you even meeting your twin flame or soulmate. Let's take a look here at this last deck and then we're going to end the reading. Okay. So very long reading for you, Taurus. You got a lot here uh, this month in October. And let's take a look here at, I'm a Taurus myself, by the way. Okay, so uh, very interesting here. Whoa, check this out. This says, I let go of worry and trust that things will work out okay. This is telling me here, I heard bake a cake. That means, yes, continue manifesting, healing, doing the things that you're doing getting yourself ready, aligning your mind and your spirit, your crown chakra and your root chakra, get those in aligned and in check, open yourself and surrender to the divine because guess what? Everything is going to work out okay. And that has a lot to do with feeling safe. Everything's going to work out to your um, to the best of to the highest, to the best of your highest good, to what's best for you. Um, in matters of the heart. So no need to worry about that. Let things happen and continue putting in the work and the effort in regards to really aligning yourself and continuing to heal. Taurus, thank you so much. My apologies of this being so long for you. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here for more messages up here. And if you're interested in a reading with me, look down below in the de description box, click on that link and reach out to me there. Bye-bye.